It was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. I just want to experience something else than a black man. <laughs> move on, move on. Like a, a horse with blinkers. Honestly, on. say, I was about to have Corrupt. sex and then I pulled Crap, up. but it's nice. I'm Siamtana Bingose. I'm coming from Langa High School. Um, my name is Luke. I'm in Matric at Kamsper High School. I'm 18 years old and I live in Iranisa. Hi, I'm Lita Makaina and I, I, I come from Langa, Printon Street, and I'm here in Grade 11, Langa High. My name is Teviso, I'm doing with Trick at Camps I live in Paro. My name is Bernal and I'm 17 years old. I'm Grade 11 in Langa High School. My name is Kanisa, I attend Camps Bay, I live in Google too, and I'm 16 years old. Ooh, hi, my name is Gabriela, the same name is Justice. I attend school here. I'm doing grade 12 and I live here in Langa. Hi, my name is Funiswa and I'm, my same name is Bambani. I'm from here in Langa High School. I live here in Langa and I'm doing grade 11. If, if, we, if you look around, people, people like to treat like, they like to treat themselves like rich people. They like royalty instead of like working for themselves. For instance, each and every person wants something from the government. They don't want to get up and just go and find some job or something to do. They always look for grants or something like that, excuses for them to stay at home. They, 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 they don't just look for newspapers, go to school back, because we, all, we also know that a education doesn't have an age, so people think education has an age, so they just sit there and just blab around saying that the government doesn't do anything. I really do believe that the legacy of apartheid and um, the oppression that the black people have suffered um, over se uh, through segregation and over to apartheid, 500 years of the oppression, has ingrained into the black people's minds the feeling of incapability and inferiority. The black people are too dependent on white people for jobs. The black people are too dependent on the government for opportunities. Um, I myself, why should my mother pay, be paying thousands every month for me just to, just on transport for me to get to Counts Bay, whereas that money could be used on um, improving the facilities of the disadvantaged schools of the township I was coming from, you know what I mean? Why, um, why what, what secret do white people have that we don't have as black people? Why is it that we're not building businesses and creating job employment here in Langa, then rather, you know, depending? on um, whatever companies are owned by white people in the cities. So um, I really do believe that um, we, in a, um, we, we feel incapable and um, there has to be a change in the way we think for us to, to move forward. The government has made a decision now, instead of letting go of the past entirely, they're actually trying to equalize the gaps that the past has left. You know, you see that in like, in like the RDP and stuff like that. But, um, the thing is that they're actually ineffectively trying to equalize the gap, so nothing's actually getting done at the speed that it needs to get done, because while this, these processes are trying to get um, momentum, you know, people are living without homes, people who don't have food, don't have jobs, and um, <clears throat> the fact is that, um, I mean, the simple fact is that on, uh, there was a global survey done, and we rank as one of the top 10 highest um, governments with the most corruption in them, and I'm not, you know, that's just a fact, it's just, it's just what it is. And um, I think that, you know, these things need to be rectified too, because if this isn't fixed up, we're not going to be able to ever really get the other things done, like equalizing past differences. You see, that thing of apartheid happened, and then people reconciled and tried to improve their lives. So now the government reconciled too, in a sense that I spoke of cities, like they created cities so that everyone can accommodate, can be accommodated. And then the thing is, the government itself came up with grants, like I would say social benefits, so then people who are disabled, people who are physically very, very disabled, so that they can't even do anything. But if, if you look at people, that, people are, some of our people in our community are faking themselves, saying that they have disabilities, they go and do things which they are going, they, that going to make them pay grant. They, yeah. that, That's a problem you know, everywhere. Because you'll find that um, people will say, um, the government is not doing this for me. They'll ask for a house, they'll receive a house, but instead of living in the house, they'll sell the house and, um, and, and get rent for that house and go live in a shack. It, I think it's more on that people should really like um, focus on 
what's right instead of focusing what has been done wrong in the past. Um, that, that, that's, that's highly that's, impossible. Sorry, that's that's sorry to problem. say. That's very impossible to say. That's not, that's uh, something that uh, it's, it's not right because the government does everything for a person. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that the government works for us, but I'm saying that people themselves don't want to work for themselves. That's the thing. No, <laughs> no, you didn't get my point. You say that people these days, people like when when the time goes by, innovation continues. You know, like technologies and stuff. So the thing is, the government tries to at each and every item of technology that comes, so that everyone can be able to use it in terms of making a living out of it. For example, if I can take you to Pick and Pay, uh, okay, let's say Century City Mall, there's a directory map there, which is used, which, which is a touch screen. Some people can't operate that, but you'll see a black person standing there, letting you know that, okay, if you're going to the fourth floor, here you are, you're going there and there and there. That thing is written there, but there are people who are not educated enough to be able to read that map, you know? But by that little thing that that, that black person does, he's getting paid. So that thing means when a black person is getting paid, means there's a decrease in poverty and unemployment. Why can't it be a white person though? The thing is, the thing is we're different. Well, people often, people often expect too much, I think, of South Africa. We are only a democracy of 18 years, and the thing is, if you look at history itself, you know, it took hundreds of years for not necessarily apartheid, but inequality to be run out. And I'm not trying to say that it's going to take that long for us to rectify ourselves, but, you know, we have to actually give ourselves time for the things to balance out. Because if you look at, like, the immediate 1994 job standing, you said, why can't a white person do it? I agree with you, but the thing is, it just seems to be that the general black populace is more in need of they are more desperate for that job and that's why he has to do it. Whereas it just is sad but true that it seems like white people have more of a choice. But over time, that will become balanced and things will get better. We must just be, we must be patient with our governments and even though it's hard, we have to understand that we're young. We're young as a democracy. I mean, we were an apartheid government for 60 years, 40, 45 years, and um, we're only 18 years old in democracy. So. The thing right now is that white people are getting whiter and whiter each and every day, and that and black people are getting poorer and poorer every day, and that will never change, and that's a fact. And it's something, another thing is that you'd find that black people uh, go, go to school, they, they go to high school, finish high school, go to university, and then they stay in the town, and then they stay, they, they, they finish their degree and they stay in the townships with that degree. What happened, they, 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 they they, they, they went to, 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 to apply for, for a job and you find that some, you find that sometimes the, the, those people, they, they feel that a white person is better than a black person. If we look at the black people, actually the black people are, are actually not, not business minded because if you look at, at, at the white people, they're so business, business minded because you would see so many, so many white people are actually owning businesses, big companies, rather, uh, other than black people. So it actually tells us that actually black people aren't, aren't actually business minded because, no, I'm, 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 I'm not yet finished. Because if we could see that black people actually want to be employed, they don't want to actually wake up from their minds and say that I want to own my own business. I want to also be an owner of a business. Ladies and gentlemen, we need as the black people to wake up and be educated in order for, in order for us to be in 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 in, in, in that particular um, stage of actually being like a same as like white people. You said that black people don't want to wake up and do anything, do something. I object what you said. Because if you can look around, like we're talking of the township, there are many black people who are having stands here, who are selling fruit, who are having buying meat. Go to but town for, a, for instance, in Grand Parade. But then that's not, there are so many black people there. They are making a living with what they can have. So then, and one thing is that how so you said, how is waking up how is waking up in the morning and and fixing your stand um, um, business mind where is that stand gonna take you because um, you find that listen because you find that there 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 are stands here in the townships and you find that they they commit they doing corruption and behind that stand you find that but those people are selling drugs what stand what stand the thing is it, the, the fact that they're able to make is, money for themselves to provide for their families makes them business-minded and you can't say that black people aren't business-minded I mean how does how is one business-minded if they haven't had an education in the past to be business-minded we've been oppressed for 
as many years as um, have been mentioned. And we can't exactly say that um, we're not business minded because we don't want to. Be. It's because we haven't been given the opportunities. But now that we are, it's time for us as a Thank youth you. to stand up and say, okay, this is what happened in the past and this is where we're going to the future. But if you see the youth for uh, this um, generation that we have, we have children actually smoking drugs outside. There's actually a population of there's actually a, a population of pregnancy now. If you are saying that we have to be given a chance, I, it looks like the the democracy that uh, um, is, is 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 being used is it's, it's actually being abused. If you see around us, we, we keep on telling us, who are you to come and tell me what to do about my life? We all have that thing in our minds, but what we all want here is like equality, which can't be, we can't all have, because each and everyone like wants to be there, which cannot happen in our future. So if, if you're coming here and telling us we, the government is not doing enough or the black people are business minded or not, it's just a matter of equality. They just want the government to put to take them there to that point which that's just it's just going to happen for themselves, you know. Mm -hmm. So people just just want those opportunities, not opportunities to, to take them to take to take them to school and then work their way up. They just want some money and then after money, you know, food and whatever not education. The government uh, brought up, um, I think uh, it's a way of, of uh, like, like stabilizing, making equality the black, uh, black economic empowerment, the BEE, yeah, okay. at which uh, it is used to, to equalize, to equalize the blacks and the whites, because back in the days, if, if I'm a black person and uh, I'm gonna take you, you're the white person, so we just go and apply for the very same job, the thing that I've got better qualifications, way better, and then yours are just like simple qualifications. They're gonna look at the at both of our CVs, yes. Right. They're gonna say, okay, he's black. Just put it on the, on the outbox, and then call you in for an interview. That was something that was not perfect. It was imperfect. That time, it was an imperfect government because he was focusing on on one side. But now the thing is, the government is focusing more on the blacks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because there are so many white people who have got riches, which they own, which they inherited them from their fathers who are ruling back in the past. But now the government is working much harder to be able to accommodate any black person. But that's impossible. Because the thing is, high population, <laughs> high population rates. My dream is to see South Africa, a, a, a rainbow nation as it is right now. My dream is that, uh, for, the, for our government to work more harder and improve on certain barriers which, can, which uh, a bit affect us at some point. My dream is to see the youth of today not looking back but looking forward and thinking what can we do to make our future better. My dream is that um, as we as the youth and try to the youth to try and to make a change for our, for us to be able to learn to for our future to be brighter and also to focus on the positive stuff, not on the negative stuff that's been happening. Um, I believe democracy is fictional, and I believe that there needs to be a change in perception for both black and whites, and I believe that's the way forward. That's my dream. Okay, my dream is to like okay, see a black person, a, a white person coming to Langhai to you know to to get some education. My dream is to succeed as an actor. Once I've created a name and a reputation for myself, I would love to no, I would strive to change the selfish and single-minded mindset of the upper class international people. My dream is to see our leaders um um being uh. Is, is, is to see our leaders stop um, having to um, being corrupt because they totally being corrupted and um, being being them co corrupted it also affects us as the youth and us as 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 as, as the coming youth. You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create a straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong